Earth is, in my opinion, the ultimate test, the most difficult test, and that they're going to throw everything at us imaginable. When I say they, I have to ask myself, is there only a dark force here? Or could it be that in the nature of all reality, of even the God force, we are given opportunities. This is going to challenge a lot of people's belief systems. Um, we are given opportunities to manifest light, to recognize who we are at the soul level, and to hold sovereign wisdom and, and awareness of our journey as souls. So, you know, the question, Sean, inevitably comes, if there is a God, why is there a dark force? If there is an all creative, a prime creator, why does there have to be so much evil? And it's a question that we will probably never answer because we can't define God. We still can't define it. So how can we define that dichotomy? But I just believe that we break away, and, and this is reinforced by all the work I've done with the Syrians. We exist as one, the light, the, the fire, the flame of, of creation. We break away as sparks of divinity and plummet down into the chasm of darkness to begin a journey up this spiral of light, to learn, to bring to source experience, wisdom, choice, it's a soul level knowledge, as you say, that it is oneness and the dissonance and the dark, you know, the darkness are still expressions of the oneness. And the beautiful right. aspect of this reality, as you see, you're talking about the beauty of the earth and your, the, the natural world that's been created is that there's an organic consequence to choice, but everything is based and predicated in choice. That's, that's the beauty of this universe, right? God gives choice so that, um, Essentially, when you you know when we make actions that can be uh, harmful, right, to ourselves or to others, um, there's a consequence, right, and that's the interesting aspect of this whole uh, journey of what's playing out now is this 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 almost this theory that the dark side can uh, take over the planet essentially without consequence, but there is gonna there is a consequence to everything, and you can't create uh, an alternate reality, right? An AI reality to to basically negate nature, right? Which is kind of what the philosophy is, I believe. The satanic philosophy, as LaVey and others have clarified, was simply inversion, right? Love is hate, up is down, uh, freedom is slavery, right? So in an AI, you can program such a reality where, yeah, I can be a woman, I can be a blonde woman <laughs> in my little simulation, right? in the organic universe i can't be because there's biology yeah. there's chemistry right there's all these factors so what they're trying to do in a sense is scramble the organic reality that's why everyone is like what is going on here all this you know there are no women anymore there's just you know people that that's, that choose to identify as women and, and you know and like this whole inversion of like you know the the the, the fact of you know menstruation and giving birth and you name it. I mean, that's just one level. The the negation of reality when it's like, oh, the shots. You know, they don't they don't cause death. You know, like it's just like all these lies that are really being put in your face to to, to make you believe in inversion because that can only work in an artificial matrix, right? In in a in a simulation where in that simulation, up is down, left is right. It's, Al it's Alice in Wonderland, right? In the organic universe, there will be a consequence, and it won't it won't work. Right. There has to be a, a, a natural logic to things. Right. To natural law. But they've been working for so long at negating natural law. As we know from if you study maritime law and the nature of these empires. Right. And how these legal structures have been put in place. They have negated natural law principles for thousands of years so that everyone is basically lost at sea. They don't have they don't have their inherent rights that are given to them by God. They have rights that are given to them by governments. Right. They have rights that are limited by government. All these things are inversions. So it's been thousands of years of this artifice, artifice, this artificial reality that's been put in place through contracts, through laws, uh, through government uh, usurping powers, right? Taking power away from us as the empowered light beings that we are. And I think this is the critical moment where humanity wakes up and those that have chosen to wake up will wake up and those that have chosen for themselves, no, I'm gonna go into this artifice to its completion, right? 
that's going to be a deep, deep matrix <laughs> that they will have to experience. That will be a consequence. That's the beauty of the choice. If you've made that choice, you go into that that new matrix, I suppose.